76 degrees on the first day of spring. That is just nuts. At least for the Northeast. Anyways, what's up everybody? Now I can't believe I overlooked something so basic. Here I am talking about messing around with plug-in drives to get the Windows 8 experiment going and stuff like that, and it never occurred to me, why don't I just check the device manager on the crap book itself? Well, this netbook actually has a Western Digital hard drive, which is really good news, because Western Digital has their own branded version of Acronis that I can install to make images and backups and restore things over the network and all that other fun stuff. So, this netbook is actually a better candidate to resume the Windows 8 experiment than the laptop is, so let's get to work on that. First things first, we need a boot disk, so let's use the old plug-in drive, which also can burn DVDs. Though I'm sure I won't need a DVD to burn this program. There's what we're looking for right there. Acronis True Image WD Edition. Basically the Western Digital version of the Seagate Disk Wizard program I usually use for backup images and stuff like that. Unfortunately, the download's about 150 megs, so let's go find a blank CD while we're waiting for this to finish. All right, here we go, and the program is up and running. Now, first thing you want to do is get griped at. Your system's not fully protected, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know, I know. I just installed the program, okay? Well, we, I do actually want to do these things. I am technically going to back up the system, and first, I want to create some bootable media. Bootable media, of course, will launch a CD... Uh, CD-only version of this program, then let me run images if the system goes completely down. So obviously we want to do that first. You know, once upon a time, I wanted to use this Blu-ray plug-in drive for Blu-ray movies. Not to get all infomercial on everybody, but welcome to Acronis Media Builder. The wizard will help you to create a bootable media with Acronis components that you select. Please click next to continue. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Uh, media content selection, etc., etc., etc. We want the true image. W Acronis system report. What does that do? By booting a computer from a media with this component, you will be able to generate a system report. Yeah, well, no. I'm only going to use this program to uh, run images and restore images. I don't care about system reports. Bootable media startup parameters, what's that? Command line parameters, nah, we don't need that. Okay, and let's go. The list contains all available devices, etc. So I wanna burn straight to the CD. I only have one computer with, um, I only have one, well, maybe it would be a good idea to make an ISO. Uh, hmm, tough situation here because I could save the ISO image, and if this machine ever goes completely down, we're not gonna be limited by the hardware. Now nah, let's do both. Let's burn the CD first, then create an ISO afterwards. So let's see, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and proceed. And the rest of this should be very familiar to anybody who's ever burned any kind of disk before. Bootable media has been created successfully. Good. Now I want to get an ISO of this too because this program is limited only to machines with at least one Western Digital drive. So if I, if say the CD ever got scratched and this machine ever got blanked out, if I don't have an ISO, I can't make another CD of a Cronus True image to restore the image file with. So that could get kind of goofy. So let's get an ISO of this too and save it somewhere else as a backup. The ISO is actually quicker than burning the disk, which says a lot about the burn speeds of that Blu-ray plug-in drive. Ah, uh, the classic jack-of-all-trades, ace-at-none problem with combo drives these days. Okay, now for my next trick, I'm gonna need a plug-in drive. So let's take this thing for a spin. So let's go to uh, disk and partition backup, etc., etc., etc. Okay, partitions to backup. Yeah, we want that, and we want to send that to... All right, if we want this, and then we want this to go to... Okay, everything's all set to go. We want to create a new backup archive. Send it to D-Images Craptop 3 20 2012. It's different when the D drive isn't a CD drive. Okay, let's go. And let's go. Let's see what we've got for a timetable here. Initializing, 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 etc., etc., etc. Eight minutes remaining. That's not bad. Then again, we're only talking about 40 gigs of data here. Okay, once again, we've got a machine that doesn't default to booting off CDs first. Probably because it doesn't have an optical drive built in. We better get that fixed and then test the image out. That's more like it. Let's try this program out. Acronis, uh, da, 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 no mouse. Use a touchpad. 
Acronis True Image WD Edition loading up. Let's see what we got to work with here. Good, we're set if we need the backup. Let's begin setting up Windows 8 Consumer Preview. So, I went to start up Gparted to repartition the hard drive to set up dual boot, and this is what I get. Cool, looks like one of those make your computer go nuts viruses from way back in the day. Good, the computer still works. Must be some kind of incompatibility. Let's see what happened. Okay, Gparted isn't going to cut the mustard here, probably because the program runs off the live CD distribution of Linux, and sometimes Linux and laptops don't get along. So let's try program number two. Let's see if Ezus's partition manager uh, works any better. Good, we're in business. Now let's see if the consumer preview will install on this partition that I just freed up. I basically cut the drive in half. Ezus had to do a boot time repartition of the drive and move some data and things like that, but it pretty much did the trick. Well, it looks like the Blu-ray plug-in drive uh, doesn't work very well as a boot drive, so we had to switch to plan C here. So we got a cable coming out the side of the netbook, which leads to the Hackjob Blu-ray drive. Handy that it works for something like this. We are back to square one. Now it's asking for drivers for the hack job Blu-ray drive. I can't click OK, I can't click browse, I can't get past anything. No device drivers are found. Can't continue with the installation, it can't etc. etc. Can't you know hide devices that aren't compatible. Okay, let's try seeing if we can use the laptop instead of the netbook. The search continues to find a way to run the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Till next time, this is Multimedia J, signing off. Thanks for stopping by. Epic Fear.